in the silent deep of the universe. There is a single point of light that should not be noticeable at all. Yet, it pulls our attention from across an unimaginable distance of almost 18.2 billion light years. It appears as nothing more than a faint blue white spark resting between the boundaries of the constellations Canes, Venetici, and Coma Berenices. The kind of dot you would overlook on the first glance of a star map. But as astronomers kept watching, the truth quietly surfaced. That tiny speck was not a star, it was a quasar. A cosmic lighthouse driven by the fury of Ton 618. A source so luminous it outshines the entire galaxy that holds it. For decades its radiance has crossed the darkness of space to reach us, carrying with it a secret that no ordinary star could ever possess. And the deeper we look into that light, the more a question rises. What kind of monster shines bright enough to be seen from the edge of time itself? And if you stay with this story until the end, you will witness a revelation about Ton 618 that few people on Earth have ever truly understood. The journey of Ton 618 did not begin with a dramatic explosion of discovery, but with a quiet entry in a catalogue from 1957. Astronomers at the Tonantzintla Observatory in Mexico were surveying the sky for pale blue stars, when one faint mark on a photographic plate caught their attention for just long enough to be recorded. On the image taken through a Schmidt telescope, the object appeared as nothing more than a soft violet smudge at the edge of the frame. A blur, so unremarkable that it was assigned a simple number 618. No one at the time suspected that this tiny mark, barely visible against the grain of the film, would one day become a symbol of the largest gravitational monster humanity has ever measured. Sometimes the universe whispers before it roars, and this was one of those whispers. But the name 618 was only the beginning because what hid behind that quiet number would one day rewrite our sense of cosmic scale. The first real sign that Ton 618 was not an ordinary star arrived in 1970 when a radio survey in Bologna detected an unexpected signal coming from its position in the sky. Ordinary stars do not speak loudly in radio waves, so the detection immediately hinted that something far more energetic was hiding there. Curious astronomers turned optical instruments toward the faint dot and the McDonald Observatory soon captured its spectrum. The lines on that spectrum did not belong to a calm star. They belonged to a quasar. A blazing core of a distant galaxy, powered by a supermassive engine that never rests. As the redshift values were calculated, the truth spread through the team studying it. Ton 618 was not just far away. It was impossibly far. So distant that the light reaching us today had been traveling for more than 10 billion years. The only reason we can see it at such a distance is because its brightness is extraordinary. A level of energy that pushes beyond what a single galaxy should be able to produce. We see only the brilliance, but not the source. And whatever hides behind that radiance is far more powerful than the light it sends. As astronomers continue to decode the strange light of Ton 618, a clearer picture emerged. This object was not a lonely star wandering the void. It was the blazing heart of a distant galaxy. A quasar driven by a supermassive black hole that bends the very fabric of space around it. In the core of this galaxy, Gas and dust spiral inward at tremendous speeds, forming a vast accretion disk. Every particle that falls toward the center is twisted, squeezed and heated to temperatures so extreme that the material glows with a brilliance unmatched anywhere else in the universe. 
This flood of radiation becomes so intense that it overwhelms the light of the entire host galaxy. We do not see the stars that surround it, because the quasar outshines them by orders of magnitude. All that reaches our telescopes is the glare of a cosmic engine consuming everything it can pull into its grasp. Somewhere in that overwhelming brilliance lies a gravitational beast, powerful enough to erase entire systems and yet reveal itself only through light. When astronomers analyze the spectrum of Ton 618 more closely, the motion of the gas swirling around its core revealed something almost impossible to grasp. The central black hole appeared to hold a mass roughly 66 billion times that of our Sun. The number alone seems abstract until you try to imagine it. If each Sun were a single grain of sand, you would need an entire desert just to represent the weight of this one black hole. If each Sun were a blazing sphere in space, you would need 66 billion of them combined to match its mass. That mass exceeds the total mass of all the stars in the Milky Way. A galaxy so vast that its starlight takes 100,000 years to cross from end to end. Yet Ton 618 contains more mass in a single point than our galaxy holds across its entire spiral. You begin to understand why its quasar burns so fiercely. No ordinary black hole can power that level of luminosity. Only a monster of this scale could. And still the question lingers. Could a giant like this truly be the limit? Or is the universe hiding something even larger? The true scale of Ton 618 begins to reveal itself when astronomers calculate the size of its event horizon. The Schwarzschild radius stretches to nearly 1,300 astronomical units, which means the diameter of its shadow spans close to 390 billion kilometers. Numbers like these rarely land in the human mind, so it helps to compare. The distance from the Sun to Neptune marks the rough edge of our solar system. Multiply that distance more than 40 times, and you still only begin to trace the width of this single black hole. It is large enough to swallow our entire planetary system with room to spare. A structure of gravity so immense that space itself collapses inward across a region far larger than anything humanity has ever charted. Thinking about it feels like staring into a void that grows deeper the longer you look. Imagine the entire solar system resting quietly inside the darkness of a single cosmic shadow. Ton 618 earns its place in cosmic history, not only because of its size, but because of the era it allows us to glimpse. The light that reaches Earth today began its journey 10 to 11 billion years ago when the universe was still assembling its first great structures. Every photon that enters our telescopes is a preserved moment from a cosmic childhood long gone. We are not seeing Ton 618 as it is. We are seeing what it was. In reality, the black hole has continued to feed, grow and transform for billions of years beyond the snapshot we observe. The present day Ton 618 may be far larger, brighter or even more violent than anything our instruments can confirm. And the truth becomes even more humbling when we consider the future. The light showing us its current form is still billions of years from ever reaching us. Humanity may never witness its true present state unless we someday develop a way to travel or communicate across cosmological distances. Studying Ton 618 is not just learning about the early universe. It is confronting the limits of how far into reality we are allowed to see. And if this is only its ancient echo, what will humanity discover the day we learn to see the universe as it truly is, rather than as it once was? Even though Ton 618 is often introduced as the largest black hole ever identified, the title is far from settled. Measuring these giants is a complicated process because it depends on what we choose to compare. Some studies focus on mass. Others consider the radius of the event horizon. 
and others still evaluate the scale of the gravitational influence. Depending on the method, different black holes rise to the top of the list. A few candidates scattered across the observable universe may rival TON 618 or even surpass it, although their measurements remain uncertain. Our estimate of 66 billion solar masses carries assumptions based on the behavior of the gas surrounding the quasar, and these assumptions can shift as observational techniques improve. The truth is that the cosmos may still be hiding entities even larger, waiting behind veils of distance, dust, or faint signatures. TON 618 may be enormous, but the universe has never shown any interest in stopping at the limits of human imagination. This leaves us with a haunting question. If TON 618 is not the final giant, then what else is waiting in the dark between the galaxies? In the end, we return to the light itself. A beam that has traveled more than 18 billion years crosses the silent reaches of space and arrives softly at Earth, carrying only the faint memory of the monster that released it. Behind that single point of brilliance lies a mass beyond anything we can comprehend, and an engine of gravity so powerful it can erase entire systems without ever revealing its true form. To imagine the scale, consider this. A single ray of light would need weeks to pass across the width of its shadow. A structure so vast that even the fastest thing in the universe struggles to cross it. TON 618 forces us to confront how little of reality we can truly witness. It invites us to imagine what might become possible if humanity could travel or communicate far beyond our current reach. And it quietly asks one last question. Is TON 618 the summit of cosmic power, or merely the first of many giants still hidden beyond our sight?